one of the problems we all wish we had was whether we should take the lump sum or the annuity when we win the mega jackpot. If you're fortunate enough to win the lottery, you have the choice between taking your money all at once or spread out over any number of years. To study this question, which is a good way of illustrating the principles and the use utility of the cash flow diagram, you make a timeline. This axis represents the years, and there might be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, going out to however many years the winnings will be spread out. The next axis represents cash. The largest lottery jackpot ever awarded was on the order of $500 million. And the annual amount, the annual equivalent, because you don't get $500 all at once. What you do when you win the lottery is they divide it out among a number of years. And in this case, that jackpot the $500 million jackpot, which doesn't come all at once, was really $19,250,000 a year on and on and on for 26 years. So let's just check the Lottery Commission's math. 19,250,123 times 26 equals... 500 and change. It's approximately equal. They take your jackpot, they spread it out over 26 years, and they say, congratulations, you're a winner. But if you want the lump sum, and according to the lottery officials quoted in a recent article, most people take the lump sum, they only offer you 359.4 million and not the 500. What's going on? Why can't you have the 500 all at once? It's because when they say a $500 million jackpot, but spread it out over two decades, the money that you get in this last year isn't worth the same amount as the money that you would get in the first. The present value of all of this money declines over the course of time. If you paid $2 for your lottery ticket, we're gonna call the present value of that $2 because you did that in what I call time or year zero. So this axis now represents our discount factor. At time equals zero, the amount of the discount that you apply to the money is one. And the discount factor declines over time such that, let's say here, money received at this year in the future is only worth 50% of what money today would be. And even further out, money, say, 20 years in the future might be worth only a quarter of money today. Money in the future is not worth the same amount as money in the present. How do we calculate the equivalence of 19 and a quarter million for 26 years in present value terms? There is an equation for that. P, the present value, equals A, the annuity amount, divided by R, the discount rate, not the discount factor yet, just the discount rate, multiplied by 1 plus R to the number of years minus 1, all over 1 plus r to the n. So the cash flow diagram for the lottery winnings doesn't look like this, because this is not the 500 million. It actually looks something like this. I don't know what your ticket cost. Maybe it was $2. But for a $2 investment, once you hit the lucky number, you might get 19 and a quarter million over the next 26 years. Alternatively, you could have a cash flow diagram that is much simpler. $2 investment, 
359.4 million lump sum winnings. Although the most likely cash flow diagram is $2 investment and nothing back, that's not an interesting problem. We're looking at these two cash flow diagrams, and the key is understanding the discount rate R at which the 359.4 million is equivalent to the 19 and a quarter million over 26 years. The way you calculate that is to put the 359.4 in for P, the 19.250 in for A, and try different discount rates for R until you get a value that equates both sides of the equation. It might be right now between 1 and 4%. See what you get for this deal and put your answer in the comments.